Welcome back to the channel, guys. I have a sore throat, but those old dandelions are growing pretty fast. I need to mow. So I come over here to the tractor, and uh-oh, another flat tire. And this keeps going down. We replaced the front tires. Now it's time to work on the back tires. Well, on uh, Marketplace, I found these rims <clears throat> and tires, and I inquired whether they fit the Craftsman, and he indeed said it fits this model, but they do not. The tires are the same. The rims look the same, except for the way it mounts. So what we're going to have to do is peel these tires off and put them on those rims. What I was hoping to do is just pull the key and put them on. We're done. So nothing's easy. <clears throat> Please bear with my voice. Um, but there's one more problem I'm having with this. Is it doesn't back up very good. It's real sluggish on a hill. So I, I laid down under there and I looked it over. And it looked like the belt, the drive belt stretched. Because I can pull it right off the pulley by hand it's and I looked it up and it's supposed to be a 93 inch belt so I ordered a new belt so we might as well jack this up drop the deck off install a new belt take the baggers off jack up the back pull the rear wheels and uh, work on the tire so it's gonna be a little project as usual I'm gonna start by taking the bagger off when I jack it up, these are going to hit the ground anyway. And there is a little grass in here. I thought I emptied them, but apparently I didn't. Quite a bit of this one. Does a nice job. Gets sand and stones, you name it. So. I gotta pull the side chute. Remember, we just worked on this, and this seems to be working good. And then, I think the chute on the deck were all right. We might leave that alone. These are a quick mount. There's a, a pin right here, a little trailer pin, and then we just lift the whole unit up. Comes right off. And this part comes off usually with it. See, do I need it off to do? I might want it off for the belt anyway. That just slides right up. I'll put my pin back in. Now I can raise the front end up and it won't hit anything. You see, the drive belt is down under the battery. So it's easier to get to from the bottom, obviously. And we're gonna use my tractor jack. You know what that is, right? The old New Holland. We use our wheelbarrow for everything. I'll raise this right up. May spill a little gas. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it don't. I think it's pretty full right now.
So now we can get right to it. I trust that cable. It's a 3 8 inch cable hooked onto the lift of the tractor. So we're good shape. What I wanted to do was check the blades, probably sharpen them again. I want to see if they're straight. It's right here. Right here, that's straight. And this one. That's pretty straight. But they look like I could use a sharpening. And then what we got to do is we got a pin right here. We got to undo. And then the front of the deck will drop a little. And then on the side, there's two pins each. I think I'll pull the pins and then I'll lower it down a little bit first. Otherwise, I, I should ask Dawson to hold it for me so it doesn't come crashing down. There goes the tiger. We just greased this. This is good shape. I think we changed the oil in the fall. I got to check that again. Don't have very many hours on it. And uh, I want to see about getting these clips off of here. I'll lower the deck down all the way. So there's two right here, and then there's this cable. I'm gonna go on this side of that. There we go. And then, I'm not sure I have to take the whole deck off to do that drive belt. Let me show you. Get down in here. Is This is a deck belt, and then straight up is a drive belt. Right now it feels pretty tight, but it was slipping going up the hill. I tried to back up and we got a steep bank out front and it wouldn't even move. And uh, it looks like there's some wear on it. Let's see, this goes by the clutch. Yeah. So with this all the way down, this belt is really loose, real loose. And it fell off a couple times last year. And so I ordered a new one and I didn't put it on yet, but I think I will right now. So it's got to go, if you can see down in there, there's a, hydrostat there's a fan and below the fan the belt goes and then there's a pulley right there another pulley right there and then it goes above the steering it's gonna be fun and around this so we got to take the deck dry belt off that's pretty simple all done and then I think I'll push the clutch in and lock it and that'll take all the tension off the belt and then Now it should be really loose. Yeah, see it goes so far that this pulley's higher up than this pulley is. That almost doesn't seem right. They're a half inch difference in height. They spin okay. 
and then it goes around here that looks like a 9 16th guide mole on the right side here and then this goes up and just stays so I might be able to pry this right off from here without taking the guide off by rotating it, yep. And keep rotating. Will it fit by that? That looks it. Probably not good for the belt, but I want to compare this one to the new belt. See if it's stretched or not. That's my opinion. Okay, so the best thing to do is to take a picture of it. Well, I looked on the shelf and I've got a one belt and it looks like it's a mower deck belt. I thought I bought the drive belt, so I gotta keep checking. Gotta climb under there and see if I can get this belt lifted off in there. Um maybe a stick or something, I don't have to crawl. Well it was easier just to lay down there and grab it, so I did. And then let's see what we got. We gotta get this part off from this big pulley in the front. It looks like the main travel goes down the left side of the machine. I was thinking this belt was 93 inches, so I might have to go get the owner's manual to confirm that. Okay, here's the belt. Now the belt I purchased is that, and they don't even look close. Let's see if I can see some numbers on it. Usually they wear right off. I don't see anything. But as far as wear. There is some wear, there's a, yeah, right there's a chunk out of it, see that? So, it probably goes around, hits that, and starts slipping or something. There's another one there. So, this one that I bought is a D&D Power Drive 104. I wonder if it's 104 inches. If this is 93 see what difference we got here there's a whole lot so I got to find a shorter belt by about 12 inches or so I'll keep looking I swear I bought one but now that I know I have a mower deck belt maybe I'll check that out and put one on that's a little easier to put on well let me measure that for sure so I get this mark and crayon to go I ran over it with the truck. Oops. Where we go from this notch, I guess. I was thinking 93 when I was looking it up, but could be wrong. I think was what a hundred and 102 or something anyway so but this is no good for a dry bell this isn't probably gonna last the season so I got to get one anyway I was just hoping there's numbers on it well it's a 90 inch belt I looked up the craftsman number and I did order one and I think it came with a spindle kit when I bought spindles. So I just have to locate it. Otherwise I'll order another one and we'll move on to the tires. Well, I found the belt. It wasn't where it was supposed to be, but it is a half by 90. 
and it says on it uh, lawnmower belt Kevlar half by 90. I thought the Kevlar belts they last longer. Let's see if it's the same size. The width is the same. I'm hoping that it's shorter because this is slipping. And they look to be the same. I don't have a belt tensioner to chest that, but I line them up even on something and pull. Yeah, it's probably a half inch shorter or maybe one inch. See that? So that might be good. We're going to go ahead and put this on because I'm excited now. I do have it. Now, if I remember how to get it in there, we got to stay on the right hand side. Get her down in there, and I'll probably lay on the ground. I don't see any sense in taking this mower deck off if we don't have to. I think jacking this up really helps. And I gotta feed this up through here. I might do it from laying down there probably. So I'll probably have to move you out of the way. I'm gonna feed it over the fan, over the belt on the back and up through them three idlers and then up around this pulley and then up onto the engine. I got the belt sort of up in here. I laid down underneath there, got all filthy. If we go and try to get it in through here. I don't know. It's pretty tight. I think I gotta take it off the transmission first. Probably and put it over the engine first Lay back down there. I unhooked the transmission You know the belt off the transmission now we got to get it. I guess across this big pulley first probably Like that Now we got to get it up in the engine And I might have to loosen This belt guide I don't know Maybe not. See if it'll go through there without pinching it. Yeah, I went right in there. So now I gotta go back down, put it on the uh, transmission, then I gotta get them three pulleys in the right spot. I don't know if you can see any of that. Right through there, maybe. Just trying not to take the motor belt off, see if it's the deck off, see if it's any faster, you know. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Ugh, let's see. I don't know. I get my fingers in there. I'm looping it around under there. Not sure if I got it on quite right yet. Let's see by letting the clutch go. It's hard to do while it's standing on end. And see if that belt gets tight or not. Actually, that looks right. So, if you can see that, the pulley goes over and pulls on it tight. The back guide's on this side. The third pulley's up here. I think we're on. Awesome. And I can tell right away it's tighter because you can see it's straight now. Before, I think that extra inch longer, the belt stretched or something and it just wouldn't get tight enough. Now we gotta put the uh, deck drive belt on. And that goes above, around, 
and above. Boy, this belt seems loose also. Let me flick that on. See how tight that gets. Yeah, I guess that's tight. Could stand to be a little tighter. I don't think there's any adjustment to it. But uh, we're all on. So I think I'll lower the tractor down, start it up and test the drive, make sure it drives okay. Let's test the drive, see if it drives okay. Even though it's got a flat tire. backs up slow they're geared so low for the reverse I always wanted to groove this out farther so I could go back back up as fast as I go forward all right let's get this lifted up so we can take the tires off and not much to hook on to here be nice if I could just do that. I got a mower jack, but it, you know the tires go in it, and I got a floor jack. But I thought if I could just lift it up with a tractor here, it would be nice. See if that hook stays in there. Still using that 3 8 cable, so that's pretty safe. We might as well start on the flat side. That one I had to add a little air. This one's totally flat. I thought I got a good deal on those tires. I thought they were going to slip right on, but they make two different style rims. It's warmer now today. It's in the 60s. Yeah, this comes right off. When it's cold out, these don't want to come off. Let me grab a screwdriver. Come here, squirrel. Squirrel's out here. Take the screwdriver, pop this clip off, and then it's got two spacers. Yeah, these are different. This has a keyway. It's a three-quarter inside with a keyway. Here's your key. And so the whole thing is round. And then these other ones are round on the inside. And the outside it's like a rectangle. Well that's a shame. It just it only goes on part way, so that's a shame. That was going to save me a lot of time and effort of mounting, dismounting. So, we're going to have to. Good time to adjust the brake if you have to. This brake's right here. Um, it's a 288, and that's a 288 turf saver. This is Carlisle turf saver. Same thing, 
Um, I was all excited though. By it. These are going to be cheap, putting them on to be done with it and have a spare set of wheels. So now, if I have to use a tire machine, take them off. Maybe I'll mount it to the picnic table or something. I don't know. And put it up on the table anyway so we can do this. That's a shame. Well, I got one of these uh, mini tire changers. This is the old model. They gave it to me for like $20 off or something. Cheaper than a newer model. Ends up being like 40 bucks or something like that. That's more than it's probably worth. But it's a Harbor Freight Pittsburgh mini tire changer. I'm sure you've seen this online already, but the uh, I'm called down to the tire place down here and they want about as much to mount these things as they do a car tire, so it pays for this machine. And I can use it again. So let me uh, put this together. And this will end up mounting to something. So I can bolt it right down either to this truck bed. Drill a hole in that. Or I can mount it to that deck over there or the picnic table. Let me read through that and assemble this. And see what we got. Be right back. I clamped it right to the truck bed here, the extension. I'm going to see if it'll work. I may have to drill through this. This is plywood three-quarter. Um, it comes with pins. It's a quick. But if I could clamp it to something, I could take it over to people's houses and do it have it portable, you know. Nice machining, pretty sloppy, huh? And then we just gotta figure out which which spacers to put on. Let me get the rim over here and we'll test it. I'll start I don't know where to put the valve stem, but I'll put it over this way. This is actually pretty high up for me to work. So I'm going to have to lower it down on something to give me some leverage. This is up here at almost five feet. So that's not going to go. So let me find a new mounting spot. Well, to get this on there, they didn't thread it all the way. So I can only just start the thread and then it locks right up. So either I can't use it or I gotta re-thread this piece so we can lock the tire down. Well that was a fight. Still not down tight. Very poor machining. I'd probably stay away from Harbor Freight. Now we pick a spot where this can go up through. You have to take the handle off first. Kind of foolish. This will go in here, and then we got to pop the bead. So, pick a hole, trial and error. I did take the valve core out. Let's see if I can flip this right off the table here. Well, that works slick. You do that. Um, I could take it off the back side. This is the back side. Hmm. Pull this out. And then pull this out. These are very poor machined. Real sloppy. This is the tool that comes with it. And You gotta put it around and wind it around here. And looks like it's gonna stick up too high and be too sharp to do this way. And then 
we got to lock this from turning. Time to read the directions, I guess. I would imagine if this tightened down better, it'd hold your rim still. But that, they never drilled the threads out on it. Let's set that for a minute. I probably can just put the ball end in there, like that. And then come down. And then, like I said, we need a way to secure this from turning. being able to tighten that up what to do with it see my green slime what I'm gonna do uh, I got a couple other tire bars here I can take one of these and just go on around it shouldn't be that hard right no, it shouldn't be. Like that. Take another one. I would say this is almost a piece of crap. I do not like that store. Even some of the soldering parts, miscellaneous things I get from there, they're just, they're crappy. I better pay more and get more. And this is kind of helping me, but I would say it's, it's almost too junky for me to recommend to somebody. I know there is a couple videos online. They had good luck. Maybe I should have opened the package and then looked at all the parts before I got it. It's probably why it was on the clearance rack. Ugh. Because people complained about it so much. I figured if it would work Look at that, how bad them threads are. If it works, it works, but it doesn't work great. Now, here's the front side. I just want to break the bead on it. Oh. take this in put this in and a pin pick one Yeah, I wish I could get my voice back. Pop that bead. There we go. And now, we'll pop this off the back side. Sometimes you just push it right off. Put the new one on, you want to be careful where your valve stem is. Look at that slime, yuck! Probably have to wipe all that off. The tire's seen enough slime, it's all over. I think the mower is 11 years old now, so tire's done good. Look at that, yuck, yuck, yuck. A lot of slime in there. 
See if I can line that back up. We're not wearing this. Yeah, I think this would work better if it was threaded so I can tighten it up. And then see if I can get this thing off in there. Yuck, yuck, yuck. tires in a while, have you? Here, bye. Let's get out the garden hose for all this slime. I saw some videos on uh, the foam they're putting in tires. I thought about it and I thought, nah, the slime didn't work. That's probably not going to work. Probably have a big flat spot. I guess I'll just hose all this mess off. And we'll start with the next tire. What a mess. I'll get this all cleaned up. And then on the rim, right here where it seals, I want to clean this real well. I'll get a wire brush after it. Slime's kind of messy. Almost looks like it eats away at the rim. Live and learn, right? That's what it's about. Living and learning. Need my parts for you. The other one's got slime in it too, so I'll be hosing this off. I'll get out a brush wheel and clean that rim. I'm going to clean up a little bit of this edge of the rim. Just get this out nice and clean here. And I'll do both edges of it. Probably have to do all the rims. Well, this cleaned up pretty nice. I want this surface nice and clean, so it seals here and there. And I'll get out some soap. To install it. And I do have some tire bead sealer. So I might use that also. This rim looks good. We'll move on to the next one. Well, the vice grips are working. I almost got it on there, but it's not real easy. I don't want to hurt the bead. I sprayed it some more. There. Phew. The vice grips keeps it from rolling. Everything looks good. We didn't harm our valves down. And then, sometimes to get this to pop on the bead, I put a rope around here, take a screwdriver and turn it, and it'll flex this in enough to get your air to pop. So let's try that. I'll get the stuff out. Now I know I can't get any air in that, 
because we got an inch and a half gap here. So by tightening this rope up, it's gonna expand that to hopefully seal it so I can get some air. So, oh, my screwdriver fell down. But I take and I wrap, I think I showed Dawson this. I make a knot and I take a screwdriver and I go around a couple times. I wish this thing would stay still. But I put some pressure on this and a lot of times this works, not always. Get some pressure on it. And then I take the hose. And sometimes it'll take. And I didn't gotta go turn the compressor on. I didn't do that yet. I don't know if this will work, but. What you gotta do is this bead seated here by making this tire smaller see how it's pushing up on it I'm pushing pretty hard I don't want to break my rope here almost sounds like it's taken but I might need a bigger purse for air crank it a couple more times here Most, but that's what you got to do with the wide rim is you got to squash the tire in pushes the bead up well that's pretty close the bottom that looks pretty good too sometimes you put a little more sealer on it some kind of liquid Go a little more here. Oh, it's close. And the tires hold 10 pounds is all. I just got to get that bead to pop. Bottom looks pretty good. All right, I'll try something else. I thought I hit the record button and I didn't. Right. What I did, is I took our propane torch and I took some uh, butane fuel I had in the garage, all rusty. I squirted that around. I had Dawson fill the air and turn his head away. And I lit the torch and it expanded while the air is going in, it was done. So now we're gonna set this tire on. He's putting 10 pounds of air in it. We put this tire on and then we'll be in business. We'll start on tire number two. Dawson just got home from a little mowing job, right? Yep. A, is that what you did? Yep. He's got a people he take care of in the summer so we started that today did that after school air valve out right wait a minute the air valve where's the cap where's the key put the key in set it in there leave it sticking out just a hair and then line it up on there it's almost one o'clock Make sure the key stays in there. Did it stay in? Yep. Where is it? There. Okay, you gotta push the key in a little bit. Will that work? Here's some vice grips. Yep. Good? Yep. And then you got two spacers. You didn't see me take this apart. And we got this little clip. No, you gotta go out. No, set it flat. No, go, go out and then slide it in. 
then here's the vice grips and adjust it from here to there and keep a little room and it should snap right on you get 10 pounds in that yep. all right i'll get you the cap Here's your tire cap. That snapped in nice. Yep. Awesome. We got a new set of wheels, guys. Then we got to put this little dust cap on. Might have to heat it up a little bit. Yep. Remember that from before on the front tires, right? Yep. What the torch? Yep. Don't get it too hot. Then we're going to work over to the other side and do that. Go on nice. I gotta get a little warmer, right? Here, set it, set it down so you don't burn your fingers. Yeah, that's probably not enough. Get it, right down there. get it expand a little bit. Flexible. Just keeps the dirt out. And then turn it. How she look all the way on? Nice job. All right. We're going to head over and take the other tire off. You got a stubborn wheel, all right. I don't think I've ever had it off. See if that helps. We'll just tap the center as he's pulling it. Almost. Um, looks like it might hit the deck. I'll get a, a bolt or something to hit with. Almost got it. I'm using this little jack handle. He's pulling tension. It's hitting the deck, so I don't know if that's part of the problem. You're pulling? Yep. It should be about off. No. Let's let the air out. And that'll make the tire softer to fit by that. That'll make the tire soft. That tire is holding air right now, but it's got slime in it also. We'll get both these tires done. I got the new drive belt on, so we're moving right along on this. Tires are taking longer than I thought. We could use a tire iron and squeak it by that deck because the deck will wiggle forward. That black tire iron, yeah. And then that should put it right in there. I should pry the tire back just enough to give you traction. You can pull that forward any. Probably a two man job again. Let me uh, beat on that. We're going to lube this when it goes back together. Should be there. You got her? Yeah. What a project. They could have designed that an inch forward. But what do we got going on up here? We got washers, the spacer. Yeah, I've never had this off. So we're going to grease this. So it can come off in the future. We'll grab our parts and then we'll go up and start that tire. All right, we got it. Everything's a struggle. Leave one on there. Get that one up here. And put that right there. As far left as you can go. All right, now. This might work. You know, you want to try it. Take this one off, this one, and then your foot, this fits down in there. See this? Now, pull that on around. Try to keep the tire straight up and down so we don't hurt our table too much more. Let me 
push this down. Did we spray it? Yeah, it won't hurt. Right here is what we need. What a struggle for little tires, huh? Little fat tires. Yeah. All right, let me readjust. That'll keep what we have, you know? Leave it. All right. Oh, you're hitting it. All right. Um. He's got to go. Watch your arm. Push this down. It's jumping up out. See it? Got to get it down in there. No, sir. <laughs> Don't get your fingers pinched. Let's spray it. And then it just down a little bit. It'll make it run easier. Yeah, well, now these white scripts are in the way. There. All right. Whew. Now do we want to show them the trick? Yeah, we're gonna. We're not gonna do the rope this time. We're gonna show you something. We'll leave it right on the table. Okay. Right. Oh, we still gotta flip it over though. Right. Um, we're gonna do a little fire trick because we know it's not gonna work otherwise. My tire valve tube tool screws onto the valve stem and then I lean down and it pulls it up in it's not in my tire drawer so we're gonna have to use this tube so I can't show you the fire trick I wish I did earlier but what we did I'll just show you quick so we took our butane went around there and got some in the tire Dawson had the ear on the valve he turned away and I went like that and it went poof and that's all we did guys that was it it worked. So we're going to get this tube down in there. Try not to pinch it. Probably is easier using a tube. Don't hit me in the eye. I just want to make sure it's not twisted. And I want my valve stem straight. Keep the way I'm spreading that. Looks like we're about ready to put this on. Alright, well this didn't turn. The stem's still straight, so I think he did good. Go ahead and put your core back in. I think it's all good in there. And we'll put this tire on. We're in business. We got the uh, drive belt and we have both tires on. I'll get some grease for that hub over there. Maybe I'll just use anti-seize. My favorite. Look like it's in all the way. Look at that, it's got some new hot rod tires. Be nice to go out and not have a flat every time I want to mow lawn.
awesome. Now he's got 10 pounds in each tire. Now let's we just go. gotta put the bagger back on. Let's go test her out. Us can play on it tonight. We got a lot of dandelions to mow. Yep. Hot rod man, he wants to mow lawn now, so I gotta find me another pastime. Pretty big bag to fit between everything here, but it works great out the open and way down below and out back. And that bagger will pick up stones and sticks and anything. So it looks like this is a fix. Thanks for watching. Thank Dawson for the help at the end to get the last tire on. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Austin's over there dumping the grass clippings. See, he did all this right here. Looks pretty good. We give it another month or so, and this will green up real nice.